Give it one for Javon. Right now he is better than right now. And now is even better because coming to the stage, San Fernando Valley's favorite son, the very funny Mark Batala. Yeah, two hot Tuesdays. Hot comics, hot material, hot jokes. Hot audience? Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for yourselves, hot audience. Yeah. Anyway, I'm Mark. I'm a cartoonist. I draw cartoons. So in addition to being a stand-up comedian, I'm also a sit-down comic. It's not that great. It just means I'm twice as poor. Like, I wanted to bring some visual aids upstage here with me, but I'm still developing them. They're more like... Uh, Visual HIV at the moment. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, there's some uh, messed up people in the animation industry. Like uh, Walt Disney, allegedly an anti Semite. John Kay, creator Ren Stimpy, allegedly grooming minors. And most recently, Justin Roiland, creator of uh, Rick and Morty, allegedly domestic abuse. I'm a messed up person too. I like to be upfront about that. Like when I'm staying at my girlfriend's place, I like to pull out the USB drive before clicking eject. <laughs> she hates that. But it's nothing compared to my nail-biting habit. Anybody here have a nail-biting habit? Yeah, it's a tricky habit to break. What you're supposed to do is uh, get some hot sauce and like coat your nails with it. But I can't use hot sauce because it irritates my cat's vagina. <laughs> That's just one of the things you have to deal with when working from home. Work from home? Work from home? Work from home? Yeah. So, it's important to have really fast internet speeds, right? So, I was calling up Spectrum the other night to complain about my internet speed, and of course, they just like shunted me off to some call center in India. But whatever. I was telling the guy about it, and he's like, well, you're on the standard tier. Why don't we put you on the premium tier? Well, we can add like basic cable to it. It's like, I don't want basic cable. I already watch YouTube videos of people reacting to shows. <laughs> and then he goes, all right, all right. what about uh, we can put you on the deluxe tier, you know? But I, what does that do? Like, adds a landline to my package? I don't want that. I want the person I'm stalking to, like, know I'm calling from her area code. <laughs> so this went on for, like, an hour, and I just hung up because, believe me, Having an Indian walk you through the Trail of Tears is the most miserable conversation you're ever going to have in your life. Come on! That, that joke killed in the South, just like the real Trail of Tears. All right, how about this? Work from home? I mean, work from the office. Who here works at the office? Yeah, I had to go back to the office real quick a couple times, and I completely forgot how shitty my office building is. Like, I got to the front door and I looked at the handicap space and it's like, have you ever seen a car parked at the handicap space and it looked like the car was the one that was handicapped? <laughs> it's like, all you need is the placard. You don't need to show your work. <laughs> but the real horrible thing about the office though are the office restrooms. Like, okay, can we all at least agree that the urinal has been perfected with the model that goes from the wall all the way down to the ground with the drain on the ground, right? Mm -hmm. the, the office urinals, we're still allowing Big Urinal to sell us on these models with the lip sticking out of the wall, right? Oh, it saves space, but what do you put underneath the urinal? Do you know what's underneath our urinals? More pee. So just like, shell out for the wall to ground model, right? Because no matter which way you're going at it, your pee's gonna go exactly where it needs to go. It's like peeing in the shower, it's perfect, right? <laughs> anyway, so uh, two hot Tuesdays though. Let me, uh, let me end it with, like, the hottest thing I've had to draw as a cartoonist. Let's see if you could uh, guess that. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. So this one time I was at Comic-Con, this Buffalo Bill-looking motherfucker comes up to my table, and he's like, Could you draw Chun-Li from Street Fighter peeing into a glass? And before I could even respond, he plops down an entire month's worth of rent on the table. So of course I say yeah, right? But here's the thing, I drew the hell out of that picture. And it was, you know, it was well illustrated, it was well rendered, and most importantly, it was, it was hot, it was sexy. 
And I wish I could show you guys, but I already gave it to the customer, so the most I could do is uh, do an impression of Chun-Li peeing in a glass. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if there's anything you can take away from tonight, it's that if you want an artist to do anything for you, no questions asked, show up with a bunch of cash, pay up front, and get the job done. Support real artists, don't use AI!